It's week 103 of Zerus. I'm going to show you guys his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is 103 of Zer, and we're going to find out what he has this week. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadowkeep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also go ahead and join the Guardian Watcher Discord. It's an awesome community that just keeps growing each day. Also, a link to the Discord and the giveaway will be in the description box below. So. Zer is located on Titan, and he is at the rig in this area right here. Zer, what's up, dude? So like always, let's go ahead and start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the Vigilance Wing. It is an exotic pulse rifle. Then we have the Aeon Safe for the Titan, the Aphidia Spath for the Hunter, as well as the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. Let's go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. So the perk on this is Harsh Truths. And this weapon fires a five round burst. When a nearby ally is killed, gain health regeneration and increase movement speed. Now that increased movement speed actually helps out a lot. Then we have corkscrew rifling, alloy magazine, last stand, which improves weapon performance and greatly increase recovery when its wielder is the last living member of a fire team. Then we have composite stock and we have several ornaments. Now the ornaments don't come with the weapon, but there are several of them. First off, we have the book of the dead looks pretty cool then we have heaven's vigil and then last but not least we have the vigil for Saint 14 and also a catalyst as well now if you guys don't have this go ahead and grab it it is still a good exotic to have in PvE as well as PvP uh, I'm probably gonna rate it a 2.5 um, in PvP but definitely probably a 2 in PvE. It's still good, but at the moment, Pulse Rifles aren't where they should be. Um, unless you're Blast Furnace or Bygones. And maybe sometimes the uh, Outbreak Perfected. But get it just in case you guys don't have it. Next we have is the Aeon Safe. In terms of perk content is Aeon Energy, which melee grants energy to nearby Aeon Cultists. Tier 5, PvE, PvP. Don't even waste your time on this. Next exotic, <laughs> uh, we have the Aphidia Sapith. And the enchanted perk on this is Scissor Fingers, which grants two knives per charge. Then we have Unflinching Linear Fusion Aim, Unflinching Power Aim, uh, power aim and then Unflinching Light Arms Aim with Auto Rifle Reserves, as well as Primary Ammo Finder. And this actually has a ornament called Cobra, oh, uh, Queen Cobra. Once again, ornaments don't come with this, but it still looks pretty badass. Now, having an extra um, melee charge, which obviously will give you your knife for the specific subclass, it is pretty decent. However, there are better exotics out there for a hunter to use. Uh, for example, Stompies. Um, I would still even use Shards of Galanor over this any day. So that says a lot. So this is definitely going to get a tier 3 to 3.5 in PvE as well as PvP. Next, we have the Chromatic Fire for the Warlock. In terms of perk on this is Crystalline Transistor, which kinetic precision kills create elemental explosions. Then we have Unflinching Hand Cannon Aim. Unflinching Scout Rifle Aim, as well as Unflinching Large Arms. Then we have Sidearm Reserves, as well as Special Ammo Finder. And there's no ornament for this. So this is a decent exotic to use in PvE and PvP. I probably would more so focus on PvE with this. So this is probably going to get a tier 2 in PvE, and probably a tier 2.5 to even a tier 3 in PvP. Now, 
If you guys do not know the tier scale, and I apologize, I did not say this earlier, it will be in the description box below. That way you guys can actually go ahead and check that out. Um, if you guys do not have one of these exotics, go ahead and pick these up before you go ahead and pick up the Faded Engram, because there is a chance for you to get one of these if you do not have it for your Faded Engram, and it's probably not even worth it. So, we have the Consumables, which is your Five of Swords, um, also aka your Nightfall Challenge card, and then last but not least, your Invitations, if you unfortunately still have this. I do, I don't know why. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.